Welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is ReactJS full tutorial series for absolute beginners. Today we are going to learn one of the most important topic in React which is props. What are props? Why are we using them? Why do we need to use them? How do we use them? How do we implement it? How do we process that data and much much more. If you have any questions on props so far, all the things will be answered in today's episode. Let's get started. This is part 15 of the series. If you have missed out on the first 14 parts, they're all very, very foundational topics and fundamental uh, details that you should be knowing in order to learn and master React. So make sure that you go through them. Today we are learning about passing props or what are props in React. Props or short for properties are a way to pass data from parent component to child component. We know by now that React applications are built on components. They have a hierarchy, which is parent child. In almost all real time applications, you will have to pass the data down from parent to child to grandchild and so on and so forth. Remember that the data flow is unidirectional. That means the data will only flow from parent to child not the two-way data binding that you know in other uh, uh, frameworks or whatever, don't get confused. Remember, in React, you can only send data from parent to child. These are immutable and read-only, which means props are immutable and cannot be modified by the child component. But there are ways of how you can send data from child to parent. We will see and learn as we progress. Today, the focus is learning how to use the props, how to send them from parent to child, how to process those props in the child component. All right. So let's get started with the hands on. So what we'll do is um, we will create a new component, let's say, right, that would help you uh, understand better from scratch. And that would be the most easiest way to get that. So I'm going to create a um, um, let's say what should we do with the credit card, right? So think of a use case. Um, let's say banks, right? I'm saying we have a component by the name bank.js. Okay, so let's build this component and say export function. I'm using functional uh, export default function and I'm saying bank. Okay, now what I want in this is I will return, I'll write that wrapper. And in this, we will just return a maybe a card, right? Or say for now, I'll keep it simple. I'll return a paragraph. Okay, we'll modify it as we progress. So this showcasing banks. Okay, this is the simplest component. Now let's go back to our main content.js. Now in this, let's include that. And here I'm going to say bank and close it. Right, so bank is imported here. You see, you can see, and we are calling that as a component in this main content.js. You can go to your application and refresh, it's showing showcasing banks. Okay, now let's pass the props that means from parent. This is episode 15. We are learning props. All right, so always remember props only get sent from parent to child. We cannot modify change. When I say we, let's say child component cannot change or modify the props. Remember that. Okay. That's extremely important. A lot of times beginners will think it's two way and we can edit it and change it. That's not how it works. Okay. So I'm going to close other tabs which are not needed for you. So clarity. All right, so we have a parent component where I'm calling this child component bank. Now props are nothing but the data that you send. Okay, and how do you send that? You can just mention it here and I can say, let's say um, BG color equal to. So this is an attribute, right? Attribute or also called property. It can be anything that you want to send. Now here I'm sending BG success <coughs> right so i'm saying this component will accept a property or an attribute by the name 
BG color. Now when it comes to the child component, it becomes a props. All right. So and we will use the curly brace, which is the JSX. We'll write props dot BG color. Okay. So we are passing the BG color value, which is BG hyphen success. And this is a prop. Prop is nothing but a property. Okay. And it can have any name you want. It can have is true BG color background. It can have any number of um, highlight background equal to true. See, it can have any number of properties. Okay. So these are called props that I'm sending from the parent, which is main content to the child component, which is bank. Right. So now I have two props that I'm sending from this parent to child bank. So when you go here, I can I can showcasing it here. Right. So when you see here, it is getting the value in the child component. Similarly, I can say now you know that why this is coming error. That's right, because we cannot return two root elements. It should always be one root element. If you answered that correct, I'm proud of you. All right. Um, so, all right. So the next prop that we have is highlight BG. Now you can see here it is showing true. OK, so how do we use them? Correct. So let me build that up for you. So I'm saying the class that I want to use. Right. So here I'm going to say props dot BG color. So what will happen now is it will have the green color. Right. Now, see, this is having green color. Similarly, I want to send a text color. Text color equal to white. And I'm going to add that. Say props dot text color. OK, it's not showing because it appended both of that. So what we can do alternatively is put a space by adding something like this and right so now this is there so th this should be the it should be text white that's when it will show the white color you can see here showcasing banks so now what important thing that you're noticing here is we are able to send the property and the value to the child component in the child component you can process it using the props that's what is called properties now this value need not to be hard coded here it can come directly if, let's say you have a variable here I'm going to declare a variable right and I'm going to say which is success equal to let's say Now this value, I can bind it direct. Now this will become dynamic value, right? So this is a static value. This is a dynamic value, which is what I'm passing this variable as the value, right? The output is still the same, correct? So same way you can pass it to anything, okay? Now, if when you're building complex applications, you can pass any number of props, okay? There is no restriction. You can pass any number of props. Okay. They can have any name, any name and value. It can be optional too. Okay. Now let me show you another example. <coughs> I have one more instance of this component. I'm using this component twice, but here I'm not passing text color. See what I mean by optional? You have props. Now it's not mandatory. It will not give you any error that you need to compulsorily pass the properties. They are optional. You want, you can pass. You don't want to pass, that's fine because we can handle it in a different way. Now see here, if the value is there, it is showing white color because text color we are passing. If you're not passing, then also it is showing with the default one, which is black color. Right now, same way you can have, let's say, warning.
now we have two right now that's how you can pass any property to any child component okay I'm going to show you how you can set the default right right now you are what you're seeing is in some cases I may pass the value in some cases I may not pass the value but our application should be stable enough to know how to work that's where we will learn how to set the default props in the next episode but for today I hope the concept of props is clear I hope you will be able to pass data from parent to child easily and you can pass it with any name you don't have to only pass these it can be boolean value it can be string it can be number it can be anything that you want okay you can say age equal to 30 you can say active equal to true so you see these are all examples of string numbers boolean etc okay so go ahead give this a try but please do reach out to me if you have any doubts in the comment section nothing makes me happy than helping you Thank you so much for joining in this episode. In the next episode, I'll show you how to set the default props for the component. Thank you so much for joining. See you in the next episode.